50 days on the road. Woo. Thought for our 50th day that it would be fun just to share with you guys five things that we've learned on the road so far. So here goes. Number one, gas gauges lie. Don't trust them. So we were traveling I-30 through Texas. It's super hot, like 90 plus. And all of a sudden, on this very fast highway, Jolene, she just quits. And we clug to a stop on the side of the road. And you know, we didn't really know what the problem was because we thought our gas tank held 100 gallons. It showed that we still had three fourths of a tank. So we we're like, well, this is not good. So I'm like kind of having a mini meltdown. And halfway through my phone call with roadside assistance, my phone dies. Jonathan's phone dies shortly after. We were able to talk to our dads a little bit. It wasn't sounding good. Finally, we were like, okay, I'm just gonna try. John then gets on his bike and he bikes up the highway, very busy highway, to the nearest gas station. And he gets like this tiny, tiny gas tank thing. And somehow, by the grace of God, <laughs> it worked. So we got our butts as fast as we could to the nearest gas station and filled up our 55 gallon tank, not 100. Lesson two, earplugs are awesome. So some of these places that we go to don't have electric hookups, which seems fine until it reaches 90 degrees in Maine, which I didn't realize happened. But we have to keep our windows open. In the middle of the night, this baby is crying the whole night and someone needs to change the batteries in their fire alarm. So it's beeping all night. And since the sun rises at like 4, 4.30 in the morning, the birds start chirping at a ridiculous hour. So we bought earplugs and that was pretty much one of the best investments of our trip so far. Number three, all camping people are pretty much amazing. I'm not gonna say every single one of them, but pretty much everyone we've met has been wonderful. Texarkana and Memphis, um, and Cave City, Burlington. So fun to just hear their stories and what they've done, where they've been, to get recommendations from them. Um, and then also, it's been really great to be on the receiving end of their generosity. Like, a couple that we met in Burlington just made sure that we were really set up and had all the firewood that we needed. They were super sweet, so shout out to you guys, Lisa and Michelle. Um, we're really thankful for all the wonderful people we've met so far. Lesson four. We're trying to go with the flow here, which is really hard for me. But we've also learned that going with the flow requires a little bit of planning. So on those nights that we don't have a booked place to stay, I try to figure out a few free options um, that maybe we could pull over on the side and sleep here if we needed to. Um, just in case we get in a pickle and decide, hey, we haven't found anywhere. Uh, it looks like this rest stop looks like a good place to sleep for the night. So just, I would say you can go with the flow, but just have some options available so that you aren't kind of stranded in the middle of the night with nowhere to sleep. Number five, no matter what the city or country or whatever area you're in looks like, there is something to explore. So it may be the littlest town ever. Uh, they're still gonna have something fun. Just get out and check it out and um, don't let your expectations uh, hinder your adventure. We're really pumped that we've hit day 50 and we have a lot more to go, not even close to being finished. Our next stop is Rhode Island, which we're really pumped about because it looks beautiful. You can check us out on our blog, Facebook, Instagram. We post at least every few days updating you on what we've been up to, where we're at, what the cool stuff to do is in that state, and then also just fun little quirky things that we've learned about being in the RV. Thanks for watching you guys. See ya.